Minor chords. This is how to play awesome solos on minor chords. Four tips on how to play more interesting solos on minor chords. In jazz music there are so many tunes where you have to play long stretches of minor chords on which you should solo. Just playing a D minor tends to be a bit tedious after a while. Getting more vocabulary, playing minor chords is both important for one or two bars and also really long stretches of minor chords. I want to show you how to spice up the minor chord melodically and harmonically in these four great tips. <laughs> In this tutorial, what are the basic theory, chord and scale material of the minor chord? Minor 6, minor 9, minor major 7, dominant flat 9, minor chord solos add on manual, show, play and analyze a short solo on softly as in the morning sunrise in D minor for tenor saxophone. Hi there, I'm Sam Bellegor and welcome to Sam Bellegor's saxophone lessons. What is the basic theory? chord and scale material of the minor chord. The basic minor chord is derived from the major scale on the sixth degree. As we know all chords come from the scale so we look at the scales first. Looking at this F major scale, the minor scale is on the sixth degree the D. <laughs> And starting on that D, the minor scale from the 6th degree in the major scale is called natural minor sounds like this. Basically we just play the whole major scale from the 6th degree, the D, and play that from the D going up to the C7 notes. Another name for this scale is Aeolian minor. Aeolian minor. When we encounter a tune written in a minor key, you can assume that this is the minor key you should solo over. In the minor tunes like Blue Bosses, Softly as in the Morning Sunrise, Alone Together and so many other cases. In jazz, the rule is to break the rules, so there are many many examples where you should not play the Aeolian minor, the 6th degree minor in the major key, and use a 2nd degree minor, the Dorian or the 3rd degree Phrygian. Here are some examples like Dorian minor, in the tune So What, a modal tune, the 251, the 2 in the 251 modal minor tunes, the Phrygian minor, for example, Spain by Chick Corea. We'll get back to the Dorian minor later in this video. Back to the Aeolian minor. The sound of the Aeolian minor is, in my taste, the most minor like because of the lower third step. <laughs> Sounds very minor-ish and that's actually the whole definition of minor, the third step. But what also makes this a very very much minor sound is the lower sixth step in the minor key. So we play up to that B flat. The minor six is a very strong leading note towards the fifth in the minor scale. So in this example the B flat to the A. The B flat to the A. Comparing this Aeolian minor to the B, what we have in a Dorian minor, comparing the Aeolian minor with the B, where we do not have that flat 6, sounds like this. much more open sound, that's the Dorian minor and the Aeolian minor sounds like this. I hear a clear major sound in the Dorian minor, so the key with the B compared to the Aeolian minor, the B flat. The major sound is there because of the scale has the raised 6th degree and we hear that as a major scale when we hear that major 6. This leads us to the first great solo tip on minor chords, the minor 6. The minor 6 sound played on a tune in minor. The minor 6 sound is Dorian minor. 
As mentioned earlier, the Dorian minor is recognized from the second degree on the 251, and in most modal tunes we know like so what. The characteristics of Dorian minor is the sixth degree of the minor scale, which is a natural six. Here we go. <laughs> Dorian minor is derived from the second degree, the second degree of the major scale, therefore it has a natural six. So if I play to the second degree of the C major, I take the second degree, that's the D. I get this very open sound. The sound, what I said, is a more majorist sound, and this is exactly what you should use in the solo when you are playing this kind of minor. The Dorian minor has different uses. The major minor sound is a great effect on a blues, for example. You get this B compared with that F as the minor. Here you can clearly hear the major sound of the sixth and the minor sound of the minor third. To learn this, just start playing around with these notes in the scale and emphasize the major sixth, the B, and the minor third, the F in the scale. So. around with this, just play it as many times as you want, put it in other octaves to learn this major 6 sound. A more modal sound is the major 6, the B, combined with the flat 7, the C. Here you really get the major 6 out hitting that heart at the end of the line. Another line is this. Again, a modal sound focusing on the top part of the scale, the minor 6, where we have this really Dorian sound. So it's the top part of the scale where you get this Dorian sound, focusing on the B. Then, obviously, there are thousands of 2-5-1s where the major 6 on the minor chord is the major 3rd of the dominant chord, leading towards the root, so the leading note of the major scale. See it like this. <laughs> has a very strong leading effect towards the C. You get that is in two five ones. Good examples are covered in another video. You can find the link in the description. The minor nine chord, the Aeolian sixth degree minor and the second degree minor has both a natural nine in the scale. The nine of the minor chord has a great open sound, both for the Aeolian, the strong minor sound, and the Dorian, the more open sound, the second degree minor, the nine is a very, very applicable sound. I play the chord so the six, the flat, or the natural six, the B or the B flat, does not get in our way. For me, the sound is a more open sound, so you get this. When you hit that root, it's kind of get mm, a little bit more dull. In a solo situation, I often replace the root with the 9 because of this nice open sound. The root, what I said, gets dull because the bass plays it and sometimes the guitar on the piano plays that note too. So I don't want to play it all the time. Use the 9 on the minor chord, both when you play a tune where the 6th degree Aeolian minor or the 2nd degree Dorian minor. Hitting that very beautiful minor 9 sound, and you see they have that B flat in there, getting the Aeolian minor again. Another one on Dorian minor. Here I'm hitting that. 9 up there and then I'm going to the uh, B, ending on that B, the Dorian note. Minor major 7. 
The major seven on a minor is a really exciting sound. You get the leading tone to the major and the minor sound from the minor third. The sound of the minor major scale and chord is a very tonic sound. The minor major scale is very common in music where you have the clear minor tonic, for example in a minor blues. When you're looking at a major on a minor scale, we both at the major seven and the major six. <laughs> compared to the Aeolian minor. The sound at the bottom of the minor. Of course, this is very much minor-like. The sound at the top is major. Very clear, open. I want to go towards the root where you have the Aeolian minor, you have these lowered notes, the B flat and the C. The A, B, C sharp gives you a very strong leading effect towards the root, which you do not have in this Aeolian minor. Think about that when you choose your scale, what you want to play, what sound you want to play. The name of this minor major scale is melodic minor because the leading tones are considered a cadence-like progression within the scale. So it's leading towards the root, the leading word. The minor major seventh chord taken out of the minor major scale looks like this. When you practice the minor major sound, start slowly and get to know the scale playing from the chord tones. The chord tones are very important to get the, the, the clear minor sound, but the scale is adding this Mm, nice in between. In the line, you get the minor in the beginning of the first bar. And in the second half of the first bar, you get this major sound because I played the top of the scale, the A, the B, the C sharp and the E. Then reaching the end, the major seven, the C sharp. I'm going down the scale, doing a little bit of chromatics, but I'm ending on this C sharp, getting this very, very open major sound towards the D. The dominant flat nine. Coming from the minor major sound, the step is easy towards adding the dominant 7 flat 9 when you are playing minor. In D minor, the dominant flat 9 is the A7 flat 9. The A7 flat 9 is coming from D harmonic minor scale. Sounds like that. With the A7 flat 9, the chord you get is, has an extra leading tone compared to the normal dominant. Normally, you will have a B up there, but in this case, we're lending this from the natural, the Aeolian minor, the B flat, and we're adding the C sharp for the dominant effect. When you're using the dominant flat nine on a minor chord, you will have to add this as extra harmony in the bar you are playing. A progression like this, three bars of D minor. But actually, I think I would play it like this. D minor nine, A seven flat nine, and then a D minor major seven, for example. Sounding like this. <laughs> minor 9 scale and chord. In the second bar I added the full bar of A7 flat 9, A7 flat 9 from the third and down the scale, surrounding the F of the D minor major 7. In the last bar I'm playing a D minor major 7 chord down the scale of the D minor using the C as a chromatic approach note to the C sharp, the major 7, ending on the B which is the major 6 of the D minor, so going into Dorian minor there. You can also add the A7 in only a half bar of D minor if you want. The original two bar progression will look like this, two full bars of D minor. You see that I changed the course to a half bar of D minor and a half bar of A7 flat 9, and at the end I'm using a full bar of D minor major 9. <laughs> Da, 
down the D minor scale. On beat 3 I play the C sharp and run down the A7 flat 9 scale. In the last bar I play the D minor major scale melodic minor up the arpeggio and the scale back down. Minor chord solo add-on manual. I have made a solo manual on this topic. The add-ons for minor chords, minor 6, minor 9, minor major and the dominant 7 flat 9 manual. The content of the manual describes how to work out lines on the minor 6, the minor 9, minor major and the dominant 7 flat 9, individually working every chord out with examples on how to get the specific sound of the extension. Added to the manual are real jazz lines, how you can add this to your playing, what scales, what chords you can use, and again using the different extensions, minor 6, minor 9, the minor major and the dominant 7 flat 9. This is transposed to most common minor keys and check the link in the description. Show play and analyze a short solo on softly as in a morning sunrise. <laughs> Play down the D minor 7 using the 5 3 2 1 pattern. In the second bar on the A7 flat 9, I'm playing from the 7th to the 3rd, the C sharp using the C as a chromatic leading tone, further running down the scale. Hitting the 3rd of the D minor 9, playing the arpeggio up, adding a small dominant flavor, the E and the C sharp from the A7, surrounding the D going up that scale. Using a standard bebop lick on the A7 flat 9, the A, a, a G sharp and the G, chromatic between the root and the 7th, down the scale and the arpeggio. Playing diatonic approach notes to the third of the D minor on the fourth beat, leading with an upper guide tone line towards the fifth of the A7 in bar six. Approach notes to the C sharp, jumping to the flat nine, running down this beautiful scale. In bar seven, on the D minor seven, I begin on the third with an F, playing up that little scale. In bar 8, on the A7, I begin on the D minor 6 sound with the F and the B, then I change it in the second half of the bar, the A7, the flat 9, flat 13, the F and the B flat. In the last bar, I end the short solo on playing a D minor major using the melodic minor scale. Minor chords galore. If you want to dig deeper into the minor chords, I have made this video for you. Check them out in the description below. If you have comments and questions, you are very, very welcome to post them below in the comment section. Share and likes are also very welcome. Feel free. All links mentioned in this video are of course available below in the description. Play music and have fun.